before it starts to rain I thought I'd give you a bit of a look around I've just had this back from the panel beaters and uh, the spray shop and they have clear coated it so uh, they rubbed it all down or um, scotch brighted it cleaned it up painted a few little spots uh, and then they clear coated the whole thing with a satin stuff it's a clear coat of some description uh, it's probably a bit hard to I don't know whether the camera picks it up but uh, there was a bit of rust just in here they really matched the paint up quite well actually it's not you know it's pretty average um, and geez I can't even see they did a bit around there was a bit quite a big bubble around here I can't even see where they've done that that's really good I'm quite pleased with it actually um, and apparently the water will just bead off it it sort of has a a satiny finish and really smooth to the touch but apparently that will uh, <clears throat> just protect the paint so it doesn't get any worse and the fading but uh, as you can see they've just they, the, the the guys at the shop were quite pleased with it because they they've done patina cars but it's where they faked the patina and this was the first one they've actually done that's uh, totally original uh, you know because it's 1955 and hasn't been uh, repainted but oh, there might be a little bit of probably a little bit of a touch up here obviously but uh, yeah it's uh, quite good so I can probably show you inside a wee bit I don't know whether this camera how it's going to look but um, it's a bit rough and the seats are full leather seats but um, these covers have been made up the previous owner and there's two covers for the there's a covers for the bottom and then there's covers for the tops for these but I've taken these off because it you know you got the little armrests in there little ashtrays of course huh. with a bit of ash from 1955 no doubt um, and there's uh, <clears throat> yeah, some dash. It's quite simple, of course. The uh, the valve radio works, and it, as in when I turn it on uh, after a wee while, the lights have come. The lights come up. I can't find a speaker anywhere. So I'll um, now that we're uh, stuck at home on lockdown for a month. Um, I'll be able to have the old girl spick and span. I'll see if I've got a speaker somewhere. I can wire that up. I've got a few bits and pieces. Oh, there's actually quite a lot to do, to be honest. But, yeah, you know, the, all that sort of stuff's looking not very flash. But it is all original. Oh, this, uh, this seam here has been replaced. Obviously, that's not original. But, uh, you know, the, most of the doors are not closing. That's that's it. I can't get that to close anymore. So I'll have to pull this apart. Maybe it's just a matter of adjusting the the latches on here or something. I haven't even, I haven't even looked at it. Um, and some of these uh, cord lights are a bit seized up. But anyway, I you know, hood lining is. Uh, yeah, so they obviously had a few cigarettes. Well, it might just be a bit of rust underneath. Not sure, but the roof's not rusty. Um, when I get a camera mount sorted out, I'll um, we'll, we'll go for a, I'll take it for a drive and uh, give it a bit of a rundown because it does. Uh, it's pretty cool actually, as far as the driving goes, um, and the overdrive. It's sort of working, it's sort of not, I'm not 100% sure about that. It, uh, yeah, the freewheeling part of it works, but I can't really see where it drops the revs. I'm, I'm not sure, I need to look into it more. I also need to check all the solenoids and wiring and that sort of, those sort of bits and pieces, or it might just need a bit more use, I don't know. But anyway, that's, uh, that's about it. I might just show you the, the roof. Right. fellow next door is getting a bit of wood. Um, yeah, I 
the end of the roof, but uh, I see, uh, they just clear coated over that and clear coated over those things. You can sort of pick it up a bit there, but I'm quite pleased with the results. It was very cost effective, too. I was debating whether to, you know, do you pull the whole thing down and completely repaint it, which I guess I could do later on if I wanted to, but you know, original unrestored. Yeah. Oh, apart from the wheels. Now they're a bit different. They're um, Chevrolet S10 uh, rims and or wheels, rims. And you can kind of just make out under there is the Chevrolet. Oops, I don't know if this can I can't see if I'm if, if it's in frame properly. Um, the Chevrolet uh, emblem there and a sticker has been made up with the, the flying A on it um, and I've just painted those. The offset there's a bit of room but it sort of gives it a slightly different stance. I'm not too sure, maybe these, this is how I got it, but maybe these are a bit wider and as you can see it's running pretty rich. Um, well, anyway, the rain's coming, so they said that when it rains it'll beat up, which I guess it will. Right, I'll, um, as I said, I'll get a camera mount sorted out, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, 10-4 over and out.